today's video i'm gonna show you how to make this effect and as you can tell by the length of this video it's extremely easy to make by the way if you just came across this channel my name is bart aka bart vfx and i'm running the editing shift with time saving video editing digital assets so if you don't want to waste your time and focus on the creative part of editing then head over to the description and supply yourself with high quality assets with that being said we're gonna get straight into after effects as you can see i've already prepared the scene so if you don't know how to do it then check out bar vfx secret to 3d editing so just a quick rundown we have a camera we have a cam controller which is a null parented to the camera then we have a black background and we have three texts that are in different z position the null has the keyframes for position so we have a movement going backwards and now the most important part of the tutorial is creating an adjustment layer so we're gonna head over to new adjustment layer and we're gonna add the effect called invert as you can see it flipped the colors if you want it to remain everything black and white and for example the text here would be in different color just make sure to add another effect called tint but for this particular scene we don't really need to do anything because the original image is black and white and basically with that adjustment layer we're gonna be creating keyframes and also play around with masks to achieve different looks this is the effect that i've used a ton of times in my reels so if you head over to my instagram you'll notice it a lot but getting back into it we're gonna set a keyframe for position now i'm gonna move it somewhere here then move to the very beginning and with x position we're gonna move it to the right so that's what we have very stiff movement but it already is kind of what we're aiming for so now all we need to do is select these two keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease now with them selected i'm gonna head over to the graph editor click this icon and then i'm gonna select the second keyframe and drag it to the left so that way we created a mountain on the left side basically this effect is done already looks pretty amazing we just made a few clicks and it already looks sick but you have different variations of this you can for example delete these keyframes make sure the position is reset so you can click here and now i'm gonna do pretty much the same thing but with the ellipse tool so make sure the invert is selected you got this tool and then we're gonna create a circle in the middle you can hold shift to make it even and you know what actually for the sake of the tutorial i'm gonna hit ctrl t and increase that circle so we just see more and try to position it in the middle all right so that's what we got and now we're gonna head over to the mask and in the mask expansion we're gonna turn down the pixels to a negative number so we don't really see anything then i'm gonna hit the stopwatch move that keyframe to the very beginning and now i'm gonna create another keyframe somewhere here by increasing the pixels so now the goal is to fill out the whole frame okay so let's see so that's what we got and now if we do the same procedure we're just hitting f9 moving to the graph editor and creating a peak on the left we already have a nice effect and like i'm saying you can be really creative with this for example we can have that circle somewhere else so i'm gonna click the mask hit ctrl t and then i'm gonna put it let's say somewhere here and then we would need to actually increase the pixels over here just like that so it's also a pretty cool effect let's take it somewhere else maybe here this time yeah i would have to increase the pixels here as well yeah that's a very nice effect just so you have a bigger idea of how to use it i'm gonna show you one more example so for this i'm gonna delete the mask we're gonna head over here press and we're gonna pick polygon tool so now with the invert layer selected i'm gonna create a shape somewhere here maybe let me just adjust it then i'm gonna open up mask properties hit the stopwatch for the mask path and then i'm gonna drag one of the corners to fill out the whole frame then we're gonna move to the very beginning again hit ctrl t and we're gonna squeeze it in so it's not visible a little more make sure to hold ctrl and shift so the shape is moving evenly okay now i'm gonna select them too hit easy ease move to the graph editor and we're gonna create a peak on the left another pretty cool effect by the way you could click here and then have the motion blur on our shape so that will be it for this quick tutorial hopefully you found it insightful and if i spoke too fast sorry about that <laughs> So that'll be it for today and man we got like over 20 tutorials in a row which is insane so again make sure to subscribe and i will see you tomorrow cheers guys